we're going to actually take our monomer all right, and pour it into a separate dish. And then we're going to take our liquid art, the red liquid art, and we want to make this rich. So what I want to be able to do, one, two, two and a half, how's that? Get a nice rich mix. Now again, extremely, extremely important that you do not mix your red liquid with your fresh liquid. All right, this is going to be used for your rose application. I want to be able to show you what the liquid art does. When I mix in the liquid art, as you can see, it changes the transparent powder into a transparent red mix. What we're going to do is create that stained glass effect. Okay, we've gone through all the proper procedures to prepare the natural nail for our next design. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the form on and we're going to build out the same structure flush to her natural nail. I'm going to take my clear powder. I'm going to set my pearl flush to the natural nail. Now again, you'll notice, right, with this nail, that the side walls are going to be completely even here. That's my guideline, looking straight down and making sure it's completely even. It is extremely important to take just enough clear powder. What I'm going to do is I'm going to brush this over the whole surface of the natural nail. Because any kind of color you put on the natural nail can lead to staining. So what we want to be able to do is prevent that from happening. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with a really thin layer of the black powder, trying to get it as close to the cuticle, not making it too thick, and then brushing it over the whole entire nail like paint. Okay, got it over the body. I'm just going to make sure we apply enough over the tip. Nice and thin, nice and tight. Okay, and again, trying to keep the nail as thin as we can so that we can actually apply our flower. 